Hey guys, Tamir from Canon Tech TV. If you're here, you're probably either looking for a Vankyo projector and which one's right for you, or you might just randomly stumble on this video. In that case, keep watching. So projectors can be a hard thing to pick out. It can be kind of confusing, especially if you're not really used to them. It's very easy to get tricked by a lot of the Amazon listings and things like that, with things like native resolution versus supported resolution and things that they put out there as far as that. What I want to do for you today is I've reviewed a few of the Vankyo projectors and and I wanna go over their lineup of projectors, kinda of answer some of your questions and explain kinda of what each one can offer. So like I said, I've reviewed the Leisure 3 and I also have an upcoming review right now that I'll be reviewing on this channel of the Leisure 420. So first off, if you do want one of these projectors, make sure you subscribe because you'll see that video then when it comes out. And I also have the Leisure 3 already reviewed if you're interested in that one. But this isn't a sponsored video or anything like that. I'm just making this video on my own. Thank you has sent me out these projectors to review on the channel. Uh, one previously and one of them I'm actually reviewing now. But I figured it'd be a good video to go over some of the different offerings that they have because it is a pretty popular budget projector option especially on Amazon and stuff like that they seem like people know them and are aware of them one of the things that really stands out is I really do like how they do their packaging you'll get one of these carrying cases with those projectors which is really cool I don't see many other projector companies do that and it really sets them apart so that being said without this being an extremely long video I'm gonna to touch on a few different points I'm gonna kind of cover the price different connectors such as like HDMI connectors the contrast ratio the native resolution and the brightness so those are gonna be the things that really set these apart and I'll make sure to highlight that for you. So coming in at the bottom price level here in the first tier is the Vankyo Leisure 3. So this is one that I actually reviewed on my channel already. So if you would like, I'll put a video right up here for that. So you can check that out over there. It's doing really well. It's got 30,000 views. So that's part of the reason why I think that I wanted to do this video because People are catching on to Vankyo, they're checking out the video and stuff, and with that being their entry level option, it is a pretty cool option. It's $89.99 on their website right now. As of right now, it was cheaper on Amazon. I don't see it on Amazon at the moment of making this video though, but if it does pop up there again, I'll put it down there in the description below. So all these do have LED lighting. The first one here is 800 by 480p. That's actually what the first few projectors are of their series. But again, this is gonna be one of the lower ones, so it has lower brightness. It's rated at 2200 lumens, and the contrast ratio is also low, it's at 2000 to one. It does have a keystone, however, with 15 degree correction, tilting up and down, and it does also have a 40,000 hour lamp life. So the next step up is Leisure 410. It is a step up, but again, you're still at the 480p, so the native resolution is the same. They do support 1080p, which, I find misleading by a lot of companies online, like looking on Amazon, some of them don't even state a native resolution and it'll really be a 480p projector and that's the quality you're gonna get, but they'll list it as 1080p, just meaning that it's gonna downscale 1080p footage to that 480p. It's also got the 2000 to one contrast ratio with 40,000 hour lamp. The 410 is 2500 lumens, so slightly brighter. And the price of this one on Vankyo's website right now is $99.99 and it's actually $89.99 right now on Amazon for the 410. So now moving on to the 420, which is what I will be reviewing on my channel here very shortly. Again, this is another 800 by 480p model. It does have a keystone, but whereas the 410 and the Leisure 3 had only one HDMI port, this one has two. Brightness also takes a pretty step up from 2,500 lumens up to 3,200 lumens. So I'll take a look at that in my full review. And like I said, you can hang out for that one to come out and I'll definitely comment on that and see if I notice a big difference from that Leisure 3 that I've got. The other cool thing and the reason why it's an upgrade is that the 420 actually supports Active Shutter 3D. So it doesn't have 3D glasses included, but Active Shutter is kind of the different type of 3D that this uses. And you can actually go on Amazon and find those type of glasses if you want to use 3D with this projector. All right guys, so we've covered the Leisure 3, the Leisure 410, and Leisure 420. The next step up in the lineup is the Leisure 510. So this is where we see a considerable jump in the native resolution. You're going from that 800 by 480p to 1280 times 768. So on the 510, the contrast ratio goes up to 3000 to one. 
You've also got two HDMI ports again, and this time you got a 50,000 hour lamp life. So people always ask me about the lamp life and if you're gonna have to replace these often and things like that. I think back in the past and probably even five years ago or so, there was definitely a difference in the technology. They say with this Leisure 510 and the 50,000 hour lamp life that for 15 years, you could watch this for 10 hours a day and that's how long it would take to burn out. So definitely step up in the quality with the 510, although the step up in the price is also present. So on Amazon right now at the time of this video, it's $189.99, and on Vankyo's website, it's $199.99. So last but not least is the Passport M50. So this is their newest model, and it's actually more of a portable projector. So it's a little bit up there in the price. It's $299.99 from Vankyo, and it's $249.99 on Amazon currently. It actually has an Android operating system, 7 point one on it actually so you can download like the google play store you can download youtube you can download netflix so it's pretty cool because with this being a portable projector it's truly portable because that stuff's all on there you don't have to supply your own streaming stick or your own roku or a google chromecast or anything like that so it's already built into the projector which is pretty cool i just reviewed the vanvo s1 portable projector uh, i'll put that link right up here as well so that's a $200 projector. So 50 bucks cheaper on Amazon right now, but it doesn't have that built in. So you would have to bring your own little, you know, gaming system, connect it to your phone and things like that. But it's kind of cool because this Passport by Vankyo has that Android operating system built in. So for 50 bucks more and to have Wi-Fi on it like that and be able to connect right onto that stuff, that's pretty cool. So it also has a 4,200 milliamp hour battery which it says can last for about two and a half hours. That Vanvo one that I reviewed stated basically just over two hours. So again, this might have a little bit better battery life on it as well, but it's also cool what you get in that package because you also get a little mini like kind of projector tripod. You get a remote that has kind of a keyboard built in and then you get a traditional remote it looks like. So again, pretty cool package. The only thing that came in that Vanvo one was basically just a regular remote and then you got a cheap little kind of plastic tripod. So with this having a little bit of like kind of the keypad, definitely having that Android operating system on there, that keypad is gonna be pretty cool I think with utilizing Netflix and typing into YouTube and things like that. Also pretty cool that Passport has a 45 degree keystone. So it actually has a little bit more angle ability with that keystone than the 15 degrees on these other Vankyo projectors. And in fact, that Vanvo portable projector didn't even have a keystone on it. But that Passport is 100 ANSI lumens and it is also gonna be the 480p variety. That's just like that Vanvo one that I linked up there too. It was also 480p, but I think you'll be surprised with 480p, kind of what you can get as far as quality out of things. You know, being able to put that up on a big screen and have that up there and have, you know, a four by seven foot picture possibly, even if it's 480p, it's a pretty cool trade off and I find that a lot of the time I don't notice a huge huge difference or I'm definitely not looking at it saying oh man this is terrible and stuff so it's it's pretty good picture quality at the 480p if you didn't know that it was just 480p you know you might be tricked into thinking it was 720p or something maybe a little bit higher even all right guys in late addition to the party actually Vankyo just released the Vankyo Performance V600 projector. So I actually just did a full review of that on this channel. So I'll link that up here over in the top corner. But uh, if you wanna check that out, that's on there. This is a full 1080p projector, first of the lineup. It has 4,000 lux brightness, but that 1080p quality is pretty clutch. It's got good resolution for business related tasks. So you can play Word, you can play Excel documents, uh, PowerPoint, I have images of all that stuff in that video review that you can check out. Also then it's great obviously for video and stuff. So awesome for Netflix, movies, Blu-rays, you know, all that kind of stuff, pretty sweet. Like I said, that full review is out as well. This one right now, it's about $249.99 for good reason. It's a great projector for a full 1080p setup at home. You know, you can grab their tripod too and use that, or you can also hook it up to the ceiling mount. Um, but it's it's pretty awesome. It's got good sound quality and everything like that So I would also check that one out if you're seriously considering getting a home projector It's a great 1080p option. There you have it guys. Like I said, that is the lineup from Vankyo um, They did not you know sponsor this video or anything But like I said, I reviewed a couple of their projectors to the average consumer aren't gonna really stand out You might not even know what the difference is between them If you do have any questions, let me know down there below Also all of the links to these projectors will be right down here below in the description So if you're interested in picking one up check it out there those Amazon ones are affiliate links So if someone does buy through that I do get a small kickback at no additional cost to you And it definitely helps out but I think these are pretty good quality you get a cool carrying case definitely in the budget realm Vankyo stands out 
out to me as a good competitor and an up and coming company. I went to Best Buy this past weekend and looked at some of their, you know, budget projectors and the pricing isn't even close when you look at some of these companies on Amazon. The price that you can get grabbing one of these Vankyo projectors versus the same type of specs over at Best Buy, you're definitely getting a way better buy uh, going through a company like this, like Vankyo or going on Amazon. Like I said, I do projector reviews here, do weekly new videos actually. So especially if you're into the projectors, got a whole budget projector playlist I'll stick up here. Uh, you'll also see a video here at the end, but I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button. That's gonna be right over here. And like I said, check out the playlist right over here. And if you like this kind of content, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.